and then let's move this line uh, around here okay so then let's go to modify and then um, let's go to rendering properties rendering parameters and let's click this enable in renderer and enable in viewport now you have a uh, the thickness of this ellipse line so um, I think that's it you can also change the thickness but I think one inch is enough so uh, now you have a uh, this kind of a uh, foot plate um, actually um, we can also adjust the angle maybe this kind of angle is looks very natural so yeah that's it so now we have this um, foot plate and then cylinder and then the sitting part then I'm going to add uh, the bottom bar and bottom plate okay, um, first of all uh, I'm going to create the bottom plate so for that uh, I'm going to work at the front view then um, <coughs> I'm gonna use same function the left function uh, that we used um, uh, for making the cup so for that uh, I'm going to draw uh, the half section of bottom plate so I'm gonna use the line tool here so let's draw the bottom uh, the half section of the bottom plate so um, let's draw uh, from here oh before that uh, we are going to we need to deselect this enable in render enable in viewport so all right so let's draw click and click 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 around here and that's it right so I think the bottom plate seems a little bit big so let's modify the vertex to reduce the length and the depths that's it and then let's select the line then let's go to left command type L and you will find left and click this left and then let's go to align the minimum right now you have uh, this kind of bottom plate let's go to left view then uh, let's let's weld the, the center core so click the weld core right then uh, you can move to proper at the center line okay and then uh, move to let's move to around here between this cylinder and and bottom plate I'm going to add uh, the last bottom cylinder so for that let's go to top view up oh, this one 
okay this cylinder is not on the center so you need to move at the center right okay then we are going to add a cylinder let's go to geometry and then let's go to standard primitives and the cylinder right so click this snap tool and then you can s create cylinder from the center so around here then let's go to left view then you can extend first you need to move at the bottom and then let's go to modify to increase the height all right so let's see right now you have this modern looking simple chair right that's it um, then um, we need one more step um, I'm gonna make this bottom plate as a very smooth object so let's select this object let's select and then uh, right click on your mouse convert to edit of a poly right and then let's go to subdivision surface here and click this use norms subdivision click this and then iteration value gonna be 2 so now you have a this kind of very um, smooth bottom plate so um, yeah that's it this is a uh, we are we're, we are done uh, and then um, I'm gonna show how to apply the material for this chair very simply so let's start okay to apply material actually we need to change the uh, rendering plugin first uh, I usually use the V-Ray rendering plugin V-Ray rendering plugin is the uh, is the most advanced and quick and easy um, rendering plugin I think so um, but it it is not a free software we, you should buy additionally uh, and then you have to install in your computer and then you can assign that renderer in the uh, render setup so let's go to render setup click here and then uh, let's go to common and then uh, you will find assign render parameters and click this and then let's go to actually as you can see the default renderer is scanline renderer which is not not really good I, I don't I don't recommend to use scanline renderer it's, uh, it's it provides like a very low quality rendering uh, image so um, we need to change this renderer uh, to um, V-Ray so V-Ray uh, I installed demo version of V-Ray so it shows as a V-Ray demo 1.5 sp2 I'm gonna click this and then click OK so now you are ready to ready to use the V-Ray material editor so uh, let's let's close this window and then let's go to uh, material editor so this is material editor click this uh, the default uh, view the default setting is uh, the standard